My cookbook, One Pot Comfort, is a book full of one pot recipes. You won't see cooked pasta or cooked rice in the ingredient list, and you don't have to pull out an extra pot to make those things. Everything goes in one pot. The only things you might want to complete the meal would be a salad, maybe some bread, that's it. These are true one pot recipes. It felt really good to get back to my roots and write recipes for the stovetop and oven again. Every recipe in the book can be made with those two traditional appliances, but we can't forget that we love our kitchen appliances like pressure cookers, instant pots, slow cookers, air fryers. So now you can make the recipes your way because I give you alternative directions to make it in those different appliances, depending on what you need to do that day. So you get to make it your favorite way. These are also comfort food recipes. And what I love about comfort food is that it's so unique and individual. What's comfort food to you might not be comfort food to somebody else, but when you put a collection of recipes together that are comfort food, I hope everybody finds some traditional, familiar comfort foods, but also get to expand their repertoire a little bit, open their mind and make some new comfort favorites out of these recipes. I would love to see people take these recipes and use them as templates change the ingredients, make something their own and really be creative with it. That is how to become really comfortable and confident in the kitchen. And that's what Blue Jean Chef's all about. One of the recipes in the book, the chicken fricassee, is a one pot comfort food meal that seems a little bit like fall or winter, but by adding some spring vegetables, carrots, asparagus, makes it really a year round meal. This is not just a book full of meat and potatoes comfort foods. There's a whole chapter of vegetarian comfort foods as well. Things like the caramelized onion and mushroom tart tatin, or the Parmesan cauliflower steaks. And one of my favorites, the portobello mushroom fajitas that you can make on the stovetop or in the air fryer. There's a chapter in here full of desserts too that only use one pot, pan, or appliance. One of my favorites is the pistachio pavlova with strawberries. It's really a baked meringue. At the end of baking the meringue, you add some whipped cream, sprinkle strawberries and pistachios on top, and it's a pretty impressive dessert that was actually really easy to make. I love teaching, and I hope that that teaching comes across in my recipes. The recipes really explain everything nicely, and I try to include as many tips as possible throughout the whole book. What I want everyone to know is that with these recipes, they too can make a successful meal for their friends and family, whether that's a traditional comfort food or a new comfort favorite, but they'll only use one pot, which means one pot to clean up.